Hi friends, earlier we have seen the displaying a tree view or a data frame in a tree view in a Kinter window. Now we will learn the how we will sort the columns based on different different columns by ascending or descending order we will sort it and we will learn more about it to use it in our file explorer application. Let's start this and you can see this. This is a is the application we have opened it and in this application you can see we can select a file browse based on my local system wherever I want to browse I can browse it I'm just opening it open so in this uh, the tree view the data is all the uh, rows of the student table is displayed I can scroll down I can scroll down or anything I can select it also but here what I will do is you can sort it all the columns say I'm on the mark column I am sorting so from the highest to lowest and I can reverse it also on clicking now it is from the lowest to highest similarly in a uh, string column I can click this name now it is alphabetical A to Z or Z to A now it is under Z to A uh, on that way now I can change it also it started from A and it increases A, B, C like that so I can apply this sort to any column I, I am just clicking the columns and it is sorted accordingly now this application we can further explore it and uh, use it in our uh, uh, when you use for our uh, file explorer when you develop it and in that file explorer also like date modified file size name all these orders we can maintain it and we'll learn all about this we'll start from here this is a blank window and first we are importing ttk because tree view we are going to use it then we have our kinter then this is a uh, of dimension 560 and 280 the width and height of the window then you are written a title and this is last line is to keep the window open now on this we'll add our first let's uh, we, we are using pandas so we must import import pandas as pd so we have the pandas library now now here let's come and Im first uh, create the data frame so df is our data frame pd dot read excel because it is a excel file i am going to use if you are using csv or any other say from mysql or sqlite or any other data sources you can use that one so here i am using read excel because my day my path where my excel file is here i am writing the path in the d drive root itself i have student dot xlsx so this is there now i will close this fine so this is the my path in your case if you have it is located on a different path path of the file so this is the what i am data i am having so now this is my data frame is ready now what next i will just set a one variable because this is the variable which will set i'll set it to true or false because that i'll be using at for ascending or descending so i'll set true so now next is next comes one function i will create now define my display now this is the function i will be using to display the tree view now sorting comes next so for that i will first write global now global is data frame because the sorry here i have global is data frame now here inside this i will be calling the data frame and using it so it is uh, global now once the data frame is there i am creating a l1 which is a equal to list now then inside does df now this will give me the list of columns i am having in my data frame so that i am getting it this is all the headers because tree view i have to display the headers that i will going to get it now let me just come to here now our set it's a record set i'm just giving a variable name only equal to now i have to take the my entire data frame rows because it's a student data frame so i'm getting around 30 35 rows of data so to numpy sorry 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 here i numpy then here i will write to list now now my rows of data is ready now what i will do i will to display it i will create the tree view or trb my variable my object trb is equal to ttk dot 
tree view now here inside the tree view my underscore w is my parent window where this will be you can give root usually gives root the name now select mode select mode is browse these are all options of our uh, tree view now so we'll show the headings headings or tree whatever it will be so we are saying headings now then height height i am giving 10 because this is by default how much the number of rows the tree view will hold i can give it five but we will integrate a scroll bar so not a problem at all so height then column what are the columns here are what i am going to do because you just see above line line number 12 l1 i'll just assign it that means all my headers i have set it now for that let me place it on a grid trv dot grid now what i am doing is row equal to one column equal to one sorry one now pad x slightly i'm not flushing with the left edge so pad x equal to 30 and pad y equal to 20. so this i am placing my tree view now what happens after this once my tree i have declared my tree view but i have uh, not uh, set the values for the columns and all so i am saying for call in l1 l1 is the list of headers whatever i have got, took it from the data frame or the column names trv dot column now here i will say call width each what should be the width of it each column 100 because inside the loop i am using this anchor which side it should be aligned i can give it waist east or center let me just give it center you can change it also not a problem let me find so trv column what will happen this will go through a loop now trv or my tree view headings headings equal to say call and here i am writing okay let me close this here i am writing text now text equal to call then command here i am i have to i am to use okay if, right now i will not use it because i will add that part so text i am giving column here i will give the click event i will add it now after this let me insert the data for dt in r set now here it is i am again looping through each and each one v equal to this is actually a list i am creating against each row so each row because r set is a list of uh, list actually it's each row is a list and all the list are contain one more list so this is i am looping through so what i am doing r for r in dt i am creating one more simplifying the list actually expanding it trv insert now what i am inserting here first i am not giving any parent id so i am giving it blank now where the next row will be added at the end so then i am giving iid because here i am using the student table it has a unique uh, column id but in your case if you don't have a unique give a incremental i value then i is equal to i plus one so one two three four like that will go so my v0 is the id so it's a unique so i have given the unique id to this now the values values equal to v v whatever i have created at the top now this will insert the data to the tree view but I must call this function diff my display i must call it to display this let's just see up to this now let's we are just simple displaying the data frame in the tree view so let's save this and run once we'll see whether any error is there where it is no such okay i have a here my student file is in g drive so in your case wherever you have downloaded the sample table or whatever excel file you are using put the path here so let's just save this and run yeah here it is you can see the all the in a tree view i can uh, i think around 32 35 records are there and here i can click the button now nothing will happen any header if i click then this order should change that will add next we'll add our on click 
command here the headings are there so here i am actually so actually here we are inside a loop so list l1 in your case if you have fixed headings you can write it here also because it is inside a loop now what happens because i am we are dynamically creating these headings what will happen is which uh, the click function should also carry which column the user has clicked so column name it must exclusively carry otherwise if you are not using a loop and manually uh, adding heading you can write it down here so for that we will say command here i am giving a click command so lambda lambda here i am giving call equal to because each uh, one i should take the just let me my sort this is the function name sorry this is the function name I am going to use my short inside that I will pass the call. So what will happen is let me close this my short my short so far we have not defined it. So now the moment I click this this is inside a loop. So every whatever the column I click it that will be this value will be passed to that. So this my short function will receive the column which the user has clicked. So for that what I am going to do now I am defining the my short function here receiving call so i am receiving this value so and inside that so parameter i am receiving now i will say global two things i am using data frame and order why i am using order because inside this also i will change the order and that value should be available so next time when you use it it should not recreate it so for that purpose so i am using a global here now if what i am going to do is Suppose the user clicked once, then it is the value should change to suppose it is true, then it will become false. And if it is false, then it should become true. So for that, I am writing if order means if is true, then order equal to I am saying false. Means if it is true, make it false. Else order equal to true. So now that is what uh, my job is. Now what happened? The order each time it changes its value or it toggles. So it checks the value because that is the way I, because this order I will use it now for the pandas data frame one sort value method. Now I am creating a new data frame df equal to df dot sort values. The data frame is a global variable. So I am receiving inside the function by here which column it should sort that here i am giving col because this col is the nothing but what i have received here and that is same as what i am getting from here so this actually when the user clicks this that this function is triggered passing the column name as parameter and that i am getting it here so i am telling sort the values in that but here this thing i have to tell it is ascending or descending so i am saying the option ascending either it will be true or false so i am saying here order now what happened ascending one time it will take the true value next time i click it it will be false value so this ascending option will one time it is true ascending true next ascending false that means use the descending that's all but what happens is it will do but i must display the changes in the tree view you see, we have kept the entire this thing inside a function. The reason is we can easily call that and recreate the tree view with the to reflect the changes or reflect the new data frame. So for that, I will just say my display. I am just calling that function. Once I am calling that function here, this calling is outside the function. So this is the root. When it the first time the application starts, this time it displays. Next time when this call will refresh the data means sorting so i am writing refresh the tree view because it will just recreate with the new data frame now our new data frame is already sorted so this is the key this line is does the everything for us so let's just run this and see okay fine now let me just click here name you can see it is z to a means alpha alpha vertical it is a z to a now again i am clicked now it is a b c d like that the order now here i can increase see the and now suppose i want this mark see here it is from highest value to lowest value again i click it then from the lowest to highest similarly any column 
gender all males are then females now name again i can come back to id also lowest uh, highest to lowest again i will click it it's from the lowest to highest so this is based on that now these two you can see this whenever i am clicking this function is called and inside this this function here it is the data frame is recreated and the recreated data frame is my display i am calling again to refresh this view and display the same that's all friends hope you have understood this and you can entire source code you can download it I'll request you, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials. We frequently do that also. And if you have any doubt, suggestion, question, use the comment section below to post it. Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.